All right, guys, here's an update on my fuel system. There are the fuel lines. And uh, as you can see, that is a, I believe, at 8 a.m. to my, and then unioned to the 8 a.m. in and out flex fuel sensor. They both have, you know, custom brackets. So they're bolted, oh, that almost fell. They're bolted on nicely, and then we might shield them up. And then they go through this grommeted hole. This grommeted hole. And then you can see they go out of grommeted hole and up into the engine bay. And then, remember I was showing you the fuel stuff and this sitting there? So he's working on this cover right here. That's going to be covering all that stuff up, you know, over there on the workbench. He's over here using the pull max machine on that shield for my fuel lines under the car. Master. It's got those pieces in it right now. There's your uh, foot thing. And then you can slide huge pieces of sheet metal through this thing. It's pretty freaking cool. Not many of these made. Pretty rare, pretty expensive. Hell yeah. So we got the tank back in here in a spare tire well. We got our pump mounted you can see the big dash 16 coming from the tank to the pump and then out and we're gonna route it out from the spare tire up to the inner chiller unit and everything here's the return 16 there's a nice drain ball valve and then the we're gonna be you know, running all this one inch, aka 16 an braided line with it. All right, guys, just a quick update on my fuel system. I'm gonna hand it off to the fuel, fuel system uh, creator at this point. So, we got the fuel lines running up through this area. Now, you can see where this feed and return is, and it splits into goes from the 10 to dash 8 right now and it that feeds we got it going through here and one goes to the one side over there and one ties right here at this 45 and they both go and then we loops back to the regulator and on the other side over here feed comes through loops back and back around I will actually go back to also to the regulator. And then this is the return. It goes back in through here. All we gotta do is just one fitting and it's pretty much ready to go. All right guys, there are the 16 AN interchiller, intercooler lines that go to the trunk where the ice tank is. They go up in this way. And then they go behind the wheel well and up and over. And then they're also behind there and underneath and inside of here. I don't know if you can pull that out. No, we buttoned that up. We can't see it. A little bit right there. It's pretty much, there's grommets just like this and holes on the other side. And then uh, there's a little union for you know a quick disconnect and then we are probably going to be buttoning it up here soon before it goes up and into the trunk where the intercooler ice tank is
All right, to be continued. So I got my uh, Flowform HRE loaded up here, one in the trunk, and uh, we're gonna go unbox these. These are custom order wheels for the G8. All right, guys, here we go. Flowform FF15s. Five by 120, nine and a half wide, uh, 42 millimeter positive offset. Ooh, nicely covered. I like it. Oh, that offset looks nice. Decently concave. We just gotta get these with the ones on my car and send them to a powder coat shop and get them matched up. So I opened the box. Next time it comes with two brand new emblems for the center cap. Low form. All right, guys, here's my original front wheels. They are the eight and a half by a positive 30 millimeter offset. And then the new ones are Nine and a half by positive 42. So definitely a little wider. The centers lit sit in a little bit more. Let's check this out from one more angle. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get these to fit. All right, here goes the test fit. Finally got that thing off. Got the Viper SRT getting cleaned over here. Space it out a little bit. Just space it a little bit. Test fitting this bumper. It's looking good. And then, oh yeah, by the way, I'll get a close up of this here soon. Close up of the bumper, test fit. This is just set on here. No rivets, no nothing, holding it on. And then this is how we got these 16 AM fittings on we had to notch every part of the what is that hexagon octagon hexagon and uh it fits now sweet all right on the way up Alright guys, this is the front of the car, this is the passenger wheel, the uh, fuel lines are done, 10 a.m. feed, 16, or I mean 6 a.m. Uh, return, and then it goes through there, and then it comes out here, and they're actually on brackets in my previous video, you can see that. And then those two brackets are shielded now. And then everything is, this is the anti-rattle for that. Everything is nicely knitted up. And then on the driver's side, you got those coolant lines that go in there. See them? through there and then right there for the intercooler there's a quick little union for you know disconnect 
for any quick work. And then there's that. And then we also have the new front wheels test fitted before I sent them to get powder coated to match the back ones. These ones are, uh, well, the previous ones were eight and a half with a 30 millimeter positive um, offset. These are nine and a half with a 40 millimeter offset. So they're kind of concave, just like the back ones. There's the back, you see the center goes in towards the car a little bit, call that concave and then you see the front ones are also concave-ish it's pretty cool so we're just gonna you know take it off the lift and turn the wheels to make sure it doesn't rub and uh, we're good all right one more close-up of these fittings oh notched so that it fits that's a 16 a.m. out of a LSA blower we have a updated bracket for the trans cooler and this is going to be mounted down and in front of the passenger front wheel. That's what we're gonna be test fitting here soon. Sitting about right there somewhere. Another update coming soon. Show you pretty much uh, this thing it should be running by update number five. This is gonna conclude update four. Right, guys she's off of the rack from back there she was on before on four wheels because she's getting close you're on camera bruh <laughs> so my lower plate or deflector is on with my 16 an intercooler fittings on the inner chiller there's the trans cooler custom mounted we already test fitted that. We got the, there's the wheel. We got the fuel lines right here. Custom uh, bracket mounted right there. They come from underneath the car, 10 AN, meet at that Y, and then they split at 8 AN, go to the fuel rails come out 8 a.m., go to the regulator, and then they return 6 a.m. And then let's check out the trunk ice tank. It's not really gonna have ice in it anymore because uh, it's going to be interchilled, probably freezing. But there we go, guys. There's the whole picture. Why is my hand shaking? There's the whole picture. There's the 16 AN lines coming in. Pretty clean. So, uh, everything's getting almost finished. Wheels AC. The car's so dirty. I'm picking a new color for the wheels. As you notice the other side, I have a different one. And then here's the other side of the fuel rails. The fuel rails are sweet. And then, oh yeah, the power steering. There's the power steering hose power steering pump is relocated to right there with a custom bracket
And then, once again, there is the perfectly fitted 16 a.m. intercooler lines. Looking pretty good, guys.